welcome back everyone my name is sagar and in this video we will be learning about constructors in java so what is a constructor in layman terms you can just say constructor is something using which you can just create any other thing right so this is the exact same thing that we will be using in our programming so first of all what we have to create in our programming we have to create objects and using our constructor we can just create our objects so you already know how to use a constructor you can just see in our previous lecture also so lecture 26 here so you can see we are using a printer class constructor here and that is a default constructor it is provided by our java language and and whenever you initialize a class so java will just provide you a default constructor so let me just write here how can we use a constructor here so this is our class suppose the same example printer class and if we are writing it as this so this is our empty class right okay it is showing here an error and that is because this printer class is also present in our lecture 26 so what i will do is I will make it a private class and also here or what I can do instead is I can just create this class inside of this okay so I am creating this printer class inside of this lecture 27 class but uh, that doesn't mean that this printer class is a subclass of it it is just an inner class okay so if we are creating this printer class so we will be given a default constructor so I can just use this here so I can just write here p new printer and you can see I am using here this com.saga.lecture27 class. So this. Okay it is also showing here error and uh, that is because this is a static method and this class is not static. So I should make it a static class. So we will just learn about all these keywords. What is this static? What is this public also? So you can see this is now a constructor. So that means when we have the same class name and after that this parenthesis. So when we were using our parentheses, when we were creating our functions, so you can just say constructor is a special kind of function that is invoked when we were creating our objects, right? So you can just consider a constructor as the machine that is creating our printers, right? So suppose you have to create a printer. So that means you can just use some another machine to create your printer that have some different work, right? So this is my default printer creating machine and I can just also define it by myself. So now you know that this constructor is a special kind of function. So what was the syntax of our function? First of all our return type and then our name and after that parenthesis and we can also define here some parameters and after that our block of code. So this was the syntax of our function but our printer, our constructor is a special kind of function. So we can just write here this. So printer and that's it. So this is our constructor now. So inside this block what I can do is I can just uh, initialize some default values. Suppose I have some variable here that defines the value of ink in this printer so now using this block i can just define some initial value of this value of ink so, so i should write here ink so i will just write here value of ink equal to 10 so that means whenever i am creating the object of this printer class so i will be just using it here so you can just see i am calling this printer inside this so you can see here so I am using this constructor here and that means it will just set the value of ink by default 10 and I can just also print here that's out p dot some value of ink and you can also see here it will be by default 10 because when we are using this constructor we are setting that value. So you can just see here it is by default 10 and you can also provide some parameter in this constructor so suppose I want some value that is your value and I will just pass it 100 so what I will do is this dot value of ink equal to I will write here value okay so this keyword is uh, used to identify the current object of this printer class so so that means when I'm using this this keyword so I can just access different fields or other functions of this printer class and that means they will be applied to our current object so when I'm using this new printer class so I'm creating a new object right and this dot value of ink means that means this new printer object will have a default value of ink equal to this value so that means the value i am passing here as an argument so now this time the value of our value of ink will be equal to 100 and uh, you can just see i am printing this p dot value of ink and it is by default 100 because we are passing it here so that is a normal flow of our data you can just see now it is 100 so what is going on here let me just show you so we are just passing here this 100 value and this 100 value is going to you can see this is now here a value and it is going to this dot value of ink and we are just printing here value of ink so this is a simple flow 
so this is now our parameterized constructor and now you cannot use this default constructor so if you are trying to use this so it will just show you an error and that is because java only provide us a default constructor when we are not specifying any other thing so when you are creating your constructor by yourself then java will not provide you a default constructor here so either you have to also define your empty constructor by yourself printer and this is now empty constructor so now you can also just use this empty constructor here so you can see i am I am creating these two constructor inside one class and they have the exact same name but uh, they have the different parameters and we was, we just learned about that thing and that is called as function overloading but as this is a constructor so this will be called as a constructor overloading and it is also part of our polymorphism so you can also create here multiple constructors so suppose with three values and that is your sum so you can just either use this one so this will just call our first constructor and if i am passing one value so this will just call our second constructor and if i am passing here two values so this will just call our third constructor okay and you can just put your code inside these block and that code will be executed whenever you are creating your objects and this will be only called one time so also remember that thing that if we have some function of this printer class we can just call it multiple times but if it is a constructor then we can only use it one time and that is when we are creating a new object so you just cannot call this constructor every time so if i am writing this new printer and i am passing here value so you can just see we are calling it but that means we are creating a new object you can just see this new keyword so that means we are just allocating a new space inside our memory and here we are just creating this p as a new object and that is why you can just see this will be redundant so so you can see so you can see if we are doing this so this will have no use and we should not do that here so now you know using this constructor we can just create our new objects and that means we are also allocating a new memory and now you can also see there are these two type of constructor that is their non parameterized so that means we are not passing any parameter here and after that this parameterized constructor and there is also another kind of constructor present that is their printer and if i am passing here a printer object so this will be now a copy constructor and now you can just set the value of this value of ink equal to p dot value of ink and that means you can just pass the value of this printer to our new printer that we are going to create using the constructor so this is now called as a copy constructor so that is it about constructor and now you can use this in your program and let me just also show you this thing so here you can now understand this thing that we are creating a new scanner object using this constructor and you are passing here an argument that is your system dot in and after dot we can just access some fields fields of this system class so you can just see this is a system class again okay so now you understand all the things that we were using previously that this is our method this is our function of scanner class and this is our creating new scanner object so after this there is one more thing that is called as a destructor so what is a destructor you can just consider we can just use a destructor to destroy some value and in java we don't have anything like destructor but in other languages like in c++ you also have to define a destructor i don't know much about that thing but in java we don't need a destructor and that is because here we have a garbage collector and what is the need of destructor so you can just see we are creating object here and after our program and this object is still present in our memory so that is why we have to use here a destructor in other languages but in our java we have a garbage collector so what is the task of our garbage collector it will just check either this reference in our memory is using anywhere or not and after our program ends the garbage collector will know that we are not more using this p so that means we are not using this p anymore in our program and after that this will be treated as a garbage and then our garbage collector will just wipe it out so that is why our memory will be cleaned by itself and we don't need to describe here any destructor so that is it about today everyone and if you like this video then do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.